Welcome. This is part 10 about the Ulsamar engine. This time we have done simulations together with FEV Sverige AB, a part of FEV group in Germany. And uh, we have simulated a four stroke diesel engine. And the results are 19.2% more power and 8.2% less fuel consumption. The simulations were done on a two-cylinder diesel engine and we compared the baseline engine with the Ulsamar engine with regards to brake specific fuel consumption and brake power at 1800 rpms. Here we have the um, geometry of the cylinder. To the left we have the combustion cylinders and uh, they are modeled after the Volvo D13 diesel engine. So you have a bore of 131 and a stroke of 158 and a compression ratio of 18.5. And then we have the exhaust piston and here we have variables for the bore and stroke so we can change them as we test. This is the first model we have tested in GT Power and this is for the baseline engine, the red text down below. It is the file you can import into GT Power if you have that available and test this yourself. I will make these available at the ulsama.com website. And these are the parameters that we are optimizing with the optimization feature in GT Power. And we have set the boost pressure to 5.5 bar. And here we can see that we have a target value in blue and that is 5.5 bar and the actual uh, in red is reaching 5.5 bar and stabilizing. The green curve is showing the wastegate controller, the opening of the wastegate, and that has also stabilized. So now we have stable uh, data and the baseline engine has a brake specific fuel consumption of 224 gram per kilowatt hour and 209.3 kilowatts in brake power. Here we have added an exhaust cylinder and uh, we have set it to the same boost pressure, same RPM. And you have a different red um, uh, text down below here showing the setup for that one. And we have uh, some more um, variables to optimize. And this has also reached a stable pressure of 5.5 bar. And here we get 212.5 gram per kilowatt hour in fuel consumption and 239.5 kilowatt in power. Then we add a side port in the exhaust cylinder. So when the exhaust piston goes down to its lowest um, uh, position. Then you have a side port opening up and we divert some of the pressure there so it's easier for the um, exhaust piston to return up again. And uh, with this solution we can um, make the um, orifice for the turbine a little tighter so we have a more pressure in the beginning that is pushing down on the exhaust piston but we have less pressure in the end and therefore we get more energy out of the exhaust piston. And these functions they are showing the um, uh, the setup of the uh, uh, simulation of the uh, side port. So it's a side port area setup. And here are the parameters that we are optimizing. So here we have a rather complicated graph that is showing a comparison between the baseline and the two different Ulsamar engines. 
and the red curve is the baseline engine and you can see we have pulses coming out this is the static pressure before the turbine and uh, they have a pressure of about 5.5 bar at the peak and it goes down to one bar later on and one bar is um, the same as atmospheric pressure so it's no overpressure at all there and then the blue curve is the one with the exhaust cylinder only and the green curve is the one with the exhaust cylinder plus a side port and uh, the purple curve is actually uh, showing the uh, side port opening up and you have some pressure going on the side canal and this uh, test also reached 5.5 bar stable and you can see that we have uh, 207.9 gram per kilowatt hour in fuel consumption and 249 kilowatt in power with this solution so if we compare the baseline engine with the two old summer engines at the same boost pressure at the same rpm then we see that uh, the first two um, values 224.0 that is a zero percent change from the baseline because it is the baseline and 209.3 kilowatts it's zero percent change because it is the baseline compared to itself with the exhaust piston only we have 5.14 percent less fuel consumption and 14.4 percent uh, more power and with the side port added we have minus 7.2 percent fuel consumption and plus 19 percent in power and we also tested with the same optimized um, uh, engines no changes to them we changed the, the RPMs only from 800 to 2800 RPMs to see how they performed in comparison to each other. And on top we have the baseline engine, then we have the uh, old summer engine with the exhaust piston only, and we have the old summer engine with both exhaust piston and side port. And uh, Compared to itself, the baseline engine, we have the delta brake specific fuel consumption and delta brake power is always zero because you compare to itself. And if we go uh, to the one with the exhaust piston only, we can see that at 800 RPMs, we have minus 8.1% in fuel consumption and we have plus 174 in brake power which is extremely um, much actually and it has to do with the fact that the um, turbine spins up faster in this solution so for the baseline engine we haven't had the turbine spinning up yet and we can see that uh, the next step at 1300 rpms there you have a very little difference in power only 4.7 percent power difference so the baseline engine has also uh, spun up its turbine but then at 1800 rpm 2300 rpms and 2800 rpms we have about 14 percent more power in all those solutions and about four or five percent less fuel consumption as well and with the side port added we have um, uh, about eight uh, percent less fuel consumption at the lowest rpm and 7.2 percent at 1800 rpms and um, around five six percent for the other rpms and also here we can see that at 1300 rpms there is um, not much extra power compared to the baseline engine because the baseline engine has um, quite good uh, uh, power at that range but we have a lot more power at the 800 rpms and a lot more power also at 1800 2300 and 2800 rpms so then we also wanted to test at lower pressure 
So here we set the boost pressure to 3.5 instead of the 5.5 bar as we tested before. And this is for 1800 RPMs only. And we have uh, kept all parameters as the same optimization as before, but we did adjust the turbine orifice. And here we can see that uh, if we compare these to each other, we can see at uh, 3.5 bar with the exhaust piston, we have minus 4.8% in fuel consumption and plus 14.8% in power. And with the side port added, we have minus 6.4% in fuel consumption and 18.9% added in uh, power. And then we lowered the pressure to 2.5 bar and did the same uh, test. And here we can see that we have 3.17% less fuel consumption with the exhaust piston and 13.3% more power. And with side port added, we have 4% less fuel consumption and 16% more power. So here is a summary of all this data. It's the same as we talked about before. So this is just a summary. Then we also wanted to test with two opposed exhaust pistons because we noticed that the uh, there was an advantage to have an exhaust piston with a wide bore and a short stroke. So maybe it would be even more advantage to have two opposed exhaust pistons with a bigger area facing the pressure. So we tested this as well. And here you can see the uh, GT power setup. We have uh, two cylinders or two pistons. It's actually supposed to be one cylinder with two opposed pistons um, in it. But this is the way it looks in the GT power uh, setup. And we only change these parameters for this test. So we don't make a full optimization of every parameters, but we just change these. And here we can see that we have reached a stable pressure and the wastegate is um, open in a stable um, position as well. So we can see that we have minus 8.2% when it comes to fuel consumption and plus 19.2% when it comes to power. So it is an advantage to have um, opposed pistons in the exhaust uh, cylinder. And here we can see the graphs here. And then we tested the same with the different RPMs from 800 to 2800 RPMs. And we see that um, with two opposed pistons, we had 108.9% um, more power at 800 RPMs and minus 8.6% in fuel consumption. But uh, for 1300 RPMs, we had uh, minus 5.3% in fuel consumption and minus 20% in uh, power. So the uh, baseline engine has good power at 1300 RPMs. But then at 1800, 2300 and 2800 RPMs, we had about yeah, 8.27, 4.8% less fuel consumption and around 19, 17% more power. So. And if you have access to GT Power, the software, then you can ver verify these results by downloading the GT Power model files from this website. And please test them yourself. And um, you can also experiment and make your own setups and tests to see if you can improve these results even more. Thank you. I'm going to post uh, more videos later on. So expect a new video soon.